we are given a train of length l and it's moving rectilinearly with a constant acceleration w at a time t its headlight is turned on and after further time period of tau the tail light is turned on we need to find the distance between these events in the reference frames fixed to the train and to the earth and in second part we need to find what constant velocity an observer should move for the two events to occur at the same point so let's first find the distance between these events in reference frame of train so with respect to train if you sit on the train itself you don't see anything else you see that this headlight is turned on and after some time you see this headlight is turned on so this event happened to him at this distance and this this event happened at this distance so the distance between the two events is nothing but minus 350 meter so distance between the final and the initial so we are writing minus 350 so let's say displacement it's uh, because we'll see later the displacement term is gives us more information on what's happening so this is the last final event when the tail light is turned on and when headlight is turned on that's the initial event so final event minus initial event the distance between them is minus 350 meter with respect to train so again if you are sitting on the train you see this event happening let's say 300 meters ahead of you and then you see this event happening 50 meters behind of you so if you take final position minus initial position of both the events you will get minus 350 so this is the displacement of event 2 minus that of event 1 with respect to train now with respect to ground so now because the observer is on the ground the train will be moving so let's say it's moving on these rails and initially the train was here so at this moment the headlight was turned on and then after some time the tail light was turned on so again for our conventions we are taking the x displacement as final event minus initial event so final event is the tail light and initial event is headlight so x should be towards right so now we need to find what's the x value of x so this is x with respect to ground so let's say this distance is l1 the engine here is l1 at a distance l1 from the observer and this distance is l2 and this distance let's say uh, this we need to find which is x and the the train length itself is 350 so x you can see is l1 minus l2 minus 350 So simple algebra is equal to half of L1. So how much it has moved in ninety seconds? That is half a t square minus how much it had moved in thirty seconds. That is L2 half point zero three thirty square. Again half acceleration into time square minus length of the train three fifty. So if you solve this, you get it. the answer is minus 242 so now i will tell you what's the significance of this negative sign so can you think of it just pause and see try to think what this negative sign means so this means that there is overlap so x is actually backwards so this event which is the later event is its position is behind the first event that is the train has not even traveled its own length yet so train was here and when the second event happened the train had just traveled a little bit so the tail event is, has happened behind the head event that's why we got a minus sign in our equation now in third part we need to we need to find at what constant velocity v 
must the certain reference frame move for two events to occur in it at the same point. So now because we have this minus sign it's very clear that the second event happened here and first event happened here. So the observer with respect to ground must has to must be moving towards left. So when he was here the event happened just right of him and when I was he was here then also second event happened just right of him which means the displacement of the observer is also minus 242 meter. Now for both events occurring at the same place to observer the observer's change in position is equal to events change in position which is 242 meters towards left. So the displacement of observer is minus 242 which is v0 into t let's say v0 is the velocity of observer and t we know that time period between the two events that is 60 seconds so this gives v0 as minus 4 meter per second so again this negative sign indicates that the observer has to move has to run backwards so it's a very good problem i'll just give a brief recap what we did so first we found the distance between the two events with respect to train so he is saying distance but let's find displacement it's even better so displacement of bit, uh, actually not displacement let's say the position of the last event minus position of the first event so with respect to observer first event happened in front of him at certain distance and second event happened backwards so the last event happened in minus 350 meters that is the displacement of let me just call it displacement it's fine so that is minus 350 now with respect to ground initially event happened here and finally we assumed that it happened here but with our calculations we got a negative sign here which means this has to be backwards second event has to be backwards so this is how it will look like so this is minus 242 now we needed to find how the observer needs to move with respect to ground such that to him both the events seem to occur at the same place. So to him this event happens on the right so he must be moving in the same direction as the event has moved. So then the both the events happened relative to him at the same position. So he has to move minus 242 meters. So that means his velocity is that yeah, the velocity is minus 242 by the time between the two events which is 60 seconds which gives our answer minus 4 meter per second.